Good day, McAllen. Thanks for joining the McAllen Cable Network. I'm Roxanne Lerma back in the studio today with our friend from our award-winning McAllen Public Library, Ms. Sarah Montoya. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So we have a pretty cool event coming up, an inaugural event for the library. So mm -hmm. tell us about this big auction that we're having. Okay, we're having our first ever fundraising auction. It'll be an auction with hors d'oeuvres and wine, and all proceeds will go to the McAllen Book Festival. Okay, so Everybody needs one of these guys <laughs> in their kitchen. So, I mean, what are we auctioning? There's some really cool, rare, unique items that we're talking about. Yes, we're talking about fine art. We're talking about rare books, um, antiques, collectibles, some really valuable items that were donated to the library, that the library has accumulated over a period of time. And we just decided that this was a really good time to have this auction. Okay, so I have this cool little listing of the things that we're auctioning off. And, for example, uh, we have uh, ceramic pots that are worth 170 bucks. Did somebody donate that, or is that something we had in-house? Most of the stuff is donated. It's donated by members of the community um, to proceed the library. So everything will go back into the library funds. Okay, so you guys have kind of been sifting through all our little hidden treasures at the library. What are some yes. of the cool things that you've come across? Okay, well some of the really cool things are like these guys. We have a whole collection of these. They're wooden Mexican kind of ceremonial masks. They're antiques and they're really cool. They're all different. They're all different. They're all different sizes. And I know that they're really eye-catching. So. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, we have like... Um, teapots and you were telling me about some figurines that yeah. you were a little shocked yourself at the price. Yeah, we have this whole collection. They're French ceramic figurines like this big, but they're worth so much and uh, you know, people can go ahead and auction them off and and bid on them and take them home. They're really neat. Okay, so we put our librarians um, to work <laughs> because I was asking you how do we figure out the, the value of these porcelain figurines and the masks and the books yeah. that we have? How do they do that? Um, a lot of research. It's going back to when they were donated, who were the, they were donated by, um, checking what the resale price is, all sorts of stuff. And we got some really solid numbers and we're hoping the public can come by and purchase them and take a look and just enjoy the evening. It's a silent auction? It'll, uh, yes, it'll be an auction with hors d'oeuvres and wine, and it's just going to be a really cool night at the library. We've never done anything like it. So you can go and say, I want that guy, and you're going to, you know, write down your, your name and whatever amount you think yeah, that you'd like to pay for it. Exactly. Excellent. Okay, so if folks want to go, is this a closed event? Is it open to the public? Where do they go to get that information? Okay, tickets are $10, and they're available at the main library circulation desk. So anyone can go purchase the ticket and come into the event. Okay, tell me about this $1,700 book. Yeah, there <laughs> is a book that is worth almost $2,000. It's a really rare book and we've had it and we were really shocked when we learned the value of it. So, so yeah, we've got a $2,000 book that people will be able to bid on. There's some crazy numbers in here. There's, you know, um, okay, like for example, Here's our picture, and I'm coming across that item right now, A71. Um, it's the Corn Festival picture, and uh -huh. so something like this is actually worth $150. Right. Right, and you didn't even know that. We didn't even know that. Yeah, and so we start, when we started sifting through them, we were really surprised. Excellent. But yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, it's and so they can get their hands on art, they can get their hands on rare books, but there's some items that are not going to be auctioned but are still up for grabs. Right. How does that work? Um, if someone's interested, it's, it's mostly fine art and periodicals, more rare books. If they come by and they're interested in this collection of just awesome stuff, they can just purchase it on site. Okay, so that's just going to be standing for sale. Right. Okay, again, where can they go for the information and where can they go to get the tickets if they're at home and saying, you know, I kind of want some vintage items, I want a mask, I want a corn festival picture. Okay, well, they can go to our website, which is mccallanlibrary.net for more information. We have a Facebook invite that people are welcome to click on and get more information there. Excellent. Or they can just come by the library and purchase their ticket. Ten bucks? Yes. Ten bucks and it'll get you hors d'oeuvres, it'll get you wine and it'll get you a cool mask. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for joining us in the studio. We certainly hope that you're gonna venture out there. What's the date once, once more? It's February 28th. February 28th, mark it on your calendar. For the city of McAllen, I'm Roxanne Lerma.